it's a really difficult question to answer. So there are a few levels of sponsorship that people usually get. Um, probably the most attainable level is the shop sponsorship. Um, you know, if you have a local skate shop, um, you go out and skate and you represent that shop and the shop gives you product and you go and skate the product and you tell people how much you like the product. I mean, that's a good way of getting exposure for the shop. You wear the shop t-shirts, um, you go to the shop events and you promote the shop. You know, that's a great, it's a great partnership. You get free stuff and they get good exposure. Um, that's hard to do if you aren't really good friends with the shop. Um, you know, if you have a local shop, that's fine, but there's what a handful of local shops left. Um, so that's a really difficult place to be. The second level, I guess, would be like a company flow skater, um, which is when, you know, the company sees something in you and wants to send you some product. Um, lots of different companies do that for various reasons. Um, it could be geography, you know, if you're a really good skater and, um, for example, say that um, USD um, wants to sell more skates in your region and they want to get exposure either from you because you're really popular on Instagram or from you because you're popular in your neighborhood and your, your area and you do really well at the local competitions and events. They might flow you some skates so that you can skate their skates and then people ask, oh, that guy's really good. What skates is he on? And they say, oh, I skate USD, of course. So that's a flow system. Um, that's usually pretty rare as well. Um, maybe a little more attainable than a shop flow because of the geography. Um, I know a bunch of people who are on flow for different companies. The best way to get flow from a company is just do as much as you can to get exposure and skate and do something unique. You know, companies don't want the same person that does the same true top sole on the same rail all the time. Um, doesn't matter how crazy the tricks are, it's all about the attitude, it's all about the exposure, it's all about the vibe that you're putting out there. And if that vibe matches what the company wants to portray, um, if you're, you know, very, like if you think of some of the older companies out there from the days, um, you've got a four by four uh, you know, with Brian Shima and John Elliott and Chris Haffey style um, versus a uh, like a, a, a supercomputer robot, which I know is a completely different era, but, you know, they're more of a competition style, like maybe not more clean cut, but like a different vibe altogether. Um, you know, you've got to fit in with the brand that you're trying to get sponsored with. Um, and you know you got to put it in the perspective of the brand. What are they getting out of giving you stuff? Um, they want exposure. You know they want people to buy more product and they want people to skate more. So that if you know there are more skaters out there, there will be more people buying product, and that's the way that companies stay in business. The third and final one is the you know the core sponsored riders like uh, you know Oigan Ennen or. Uh, Joe Atkinson or uh, like Montre Livingston, like the real, like the core sponsored skaters who represent the companies who have the pro model skates. And even if they don't have the pro model skates, they have the skates and they are in the ads and they're, you know, represented by the companies. That's really the upper echelon of sponsorship. It's very rare. Um, I don't think that that really happens very often. Um, I could probably, I mean, there's there's probably less than 20 skaters out there that actually um, are on that level, just because the industry is so small now. A lot of companies do like an ambassador program. K2 does an ambassador program where they have a lot of people who represent their company, but they don't necessarily have them as like a pro skate sort of thing. I think that's a very uh, bygone era. Um, now it's more about, you know, just going out there and skate. You know, you got to ask yourself why you would want to be sponsored. It's a lot of work. You got to get out there and you got to do edits and you got to post on Instagram and you got to prove to the company that the money that they're investing in you through product, through flying you to competitions, through, you know, entering you in events, stuff like that is working for them. They're getting something out of it. And the best way for you to do that, even if you're not sponsored, is just go out there, pick a product that you like, pick a company that you like 
skate that company's product and tag them on Instagram and make sure that they notice you and just keep doing it. And as you progress, as you get out there more, as you show them that you are making a positive impact to skating and a positive impact to their brand, you know, maybe they'll notice. Maybe they'll send you some t-shirts and stuff.